So these were the thumb screw holders that Liam made and now I've done the red ones. Um, they just need all the parts put in the front. So there's the thumb screw in the front. So it's real visual control about what the part is. These are actually the scrap parts. So it means we're not wasting a part as well. This morning I needed to check the uh, oil level on the uh, hydro vane. So uh, I didn't know what spanner etc it was. And we don't use spanner for anything else. So now I've made a home for it right on the spanner itself. Cable tied it on there, put a spanner for oil plug there, and then put a shadow label underneath as well. Okay, so carrying on with the updates this area, yes, the wall is looking a little bit out of kilter right now. Um, we're just getting all the tools out of things like the tool bag there, um, bit by bit, and moving them onto, uh, onto the rack, and then we'll start organising to actually make sure that things are grouped together, like for instance, screwdrivers obviously would want to be grouped together, spanners and so on and so forth. Um, filament up on the wall behind the printers, I think makes m most logical sense. The Kanban cards, because we've got them on the magnets, they go perfectly on the back of those hooks, which is awesome. Same with the spares. Um, I started to organise some of the electrical spares that we've got in terms of what we can use for improvements um, and fixings and bits and pieces. So, we, you know, it's going to be, we've, we think that we're going to be in this bit for about two pumps um, with, with 10 minutes a day or four, four to five of us. A little update on the parts rack tried to make the black stock a bit neater before it was balancing, stuff was balancing, just a bit of out of mess really. I've started a project whereby I can add more images including customer images to the website for the various different products. So what I'm doing now is, um, so I can do an unlimited number of images and I can assign the image and the script that I've written automatically resizes the image and creates a preview image like this and then a larger image, um, but not too large that it takes too long to load. We can put the description in, we can put the customer number in, the finish and the um, any extras, because what will happen is later on the website we'll relate these. So if, for instance, someone selects a black powder coat spotlight, light, they'll get preview to these images, well, probably more the product images, but you kind of get the idea. I'm going through bits and pieces on the website and I've started actually thinking, oh, maybe it'd be better if we have some visual indication of the finishes. So I've gone around taking some photos of all the finishes that we've got. Um, the one the confusing one, I think it's always people really struggle to know what NATO green really looks like. So, and the 8040 bronze also helps as well. So that will go on the website now. So end of today, today I started a inspection table. This is going to be on wheels. So I just need to find some really heavy duty casters that are going to be suitable for going on here. Um, we're going to have a laminate top and then a granite inspection plate on top of that. And then we can wheel it around between the machines.